My New Jersey adventure got off to a great start with a triathlon in Pequannock Township. Swimming, biking, running, fun. Pequannock Township is one of the oldest settlements in the country. A few hundred of us gathered early on a summer morning to swim in this park lake and then bike and run on the township streets. Jersey stop number two was in Princeton, home of Princeton University, one of the world's great universities in a beautiful college town. Well, it's just a wild guess, but I'm thinking this is what makes it an Ivy League college. Princeton has been home to more famous people than you can count, including Albert Einstein. Here's his house, and he got his hair cut, but apparently not styled, here. This is one of Albert Einstein's favorite businesses in Princeton, a bicycle shop. Even though he didn't really ride a bike, he just liked the simple elegance of a bicycle machine. Char and I both love the eclectic beauty of Princeton, but we moved on to its polar opposite. Today we're on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. This is where my parents honeymooned nearly 70 years ago. Everything's all different now, of course, but it's fun to be here just the same. We took a touristy stroll down the boardwalk, bought some fudge, and admired the famous beach. Then we drove along the Jersey Shore, stopping for a seafood lunch in Sea Isle, and a visit to Cape May with its handsome lighthouse and nearly deserted beach. It seemed only fitting that we leave New Jersey by water. And the best way to do that was on a 17-mile crossing of Delaware Bay via the Cape May to Lewis Ferry. The 85-minute trip provided a fun and relaxing conclusion to adventure number 19 in New Jersey.